Hey everyone, thanks for coming back and joining us for our second curbside crafts video. So this week, between July 13th and 17th, you can come by the library and pick up your curbside craft kit. And it'll be available all week long for our summer reading program. Now, let's get started. Today's craft is a DIY firefly. Right, so let's look inside. First, we have our flyer to remind us of all the great programs in the library. Next, oh my goodness, I have a water bottle. And if you don't have a water bottle in your curb, in curbside craft kit, you can always get one. I'm pretty sure you got one at your house. But also, I have googly eyes, hmm, pipe cleaners, tissue paper, glue dots, more tissue paper, and lots of little sticky doodads. So let's find out what we can do with all of these things to make a DIY firefly. Oh, oh, I almost overlooked the most important part. Glow sticks. Yes. Well, we'll put those to the side for right now. The very first thing we're going to want to do to create our DIY firefly, we need some eyes. So we are going to take our glue dot. Miss Chanel loves glue dots. It's kind of like a hot glue that's not hot. And we're going to stick it on right here. Just like that. Then we're going to take two Google eyes. One and two. And stick them on our top of our Water, water bottle. Oh, you know what? He's a cutie, so I think I'm gonna call him Curtis Cutie Curbside Craft Firefly. We'll just call him Curtis for short. All right, so here's what, so here my cutie Curtis has his eyes and he needs some antenna because he's a firefly. So we're gonna take our a little bit of help here. We're going to take our pipe cleaner, wrap it around, and twist, and give him antennas. How does he look, guys? All right. Oh, he's a little monkey. Let's fix him up here. Okay. Now, our next part for our firefly is he needs some wings. So I've got these strips here of tissue paper, and I'm going to cut them in half so they're not quite so long. Take another one, and you can design your wings however you like. This is just Miss Janelle's wings here. This one looks really pretty, because bugs are known for having very lightweight, transparent wings. I think that works for right now. So I'm going to take and take our halves and make some of our a little bunch of wings here. Here we go. And then I'm going to take another one of my glue dots. Alright, so we're going to, oh goodness, we're going to need a glue dot. I lost my glue dot. Got to be careful with these guys. They're a little bit on the tricky side. Here's my glue dot. And I'm going to stick him up here. That's okay. Here's a glue dot and here's a glue dot. I'll need two glue dots. One for each set of wings. Roll him off here, and it's okay if your glue dots get a little squished up because 
they're just glue dots. bunch of wings and stick them there and I'm going to take my second bunch of wings and I'm going to stick them there on this one and I think I still need some more to use another glue dot to make sure my stuff is very sticky here. Fabulous thing about glue dots. They stick to everything. Voila! What do you think of my Firefly wings? All right, but wait a minute. This is Firefly glowing. Oh my goodness, cutest Curtis is not a cutie yet because he needs the most important ingredient, the glow sticks. So what you're going to do is take your glow sticks and snap them. Snap, 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 sn